Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Saratoga Racecourse here on Friday. It is August the 30th, 2019. I'm going to look at the 10th race from the spot, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for racecourses around the world, and join me tomorrow for my Woodward preview and my Virginia Derby preview video, and also for my Harness previews tomorrow. Excellent racing from Yonkers with the Yonkers Trot, and also up at Mohawk for the Canadian Pacing Derby, so I'll be looking at all those races here on YouTube tomorrow. Good Saturday of racing. But let's get to the 10th race from Saratoga, which is a race I think you can make money with. It's the Lucky Coin Stakes, going for a purse of $100,000, race for four-year-olds and upwards, number one of sweepstakes in 2019. We have a field of nine horses going to the Melon Turf, the distance of ground of 1,100 meters, or the distance of ground of five and one-half furlongs on the Melon Turf course. Five and a half, the rail's at zero feet. And I show the diagram, it just gives me that little extra second to look down my notes, just bear with me. But the top selection, I'm going to take the seven horse square shooter. I'm going to go seven, three, five, one in the super factor. Seven, three, five, one super. Top selection, seven horse square shooter. This five year old given by Trap Shot. Jeremiah Anglehart trains. Jorge Vargas Jr. gets the mount. The horse is most recent out. It came the 10th of August at Laurel. Six rungs on a yielding turf course and lands for a 60,000. And the horse won by a nose that day. The horse stalked early on, doable a little bit. Which was drifting in the stretch, but she held on to a very good victory that day. It was an improved mouth race before she came to Glasgow at Delaware, seven and a half furlongs, July the 13th. The horse finished fourth by four and three quarter lengths there. Stalked a very wide, but just never had the turn of foot. Maybe the trip was a little bit too long. And then the Pennsylvania Governor's Cup at Penn National, yielding ground five furlongs June the first. The horse finished fourth by seven quarter lengths. Pure sensation, had everything his own way on the front end. One next start out. This horse didn't break all that well. Hit the gate going out of it. Was wide, and uh, you know it, he just had a more of a trouble trip there. And then they were in the grade two shaker to Hannah Keeneland. Five and a half furlongs on a firm turf course, April 6th. First off, a long break. He was just outclassed by the others. Finished six by three and a half lengths. He was wide and just got beat badly that day. But still ran a little better than his odds indicate. He finished sixth at 101, but still wasn't a crap. It was a crap run. He started once here at Saratoga. And that came to the Troy Handicap last summer on very soft ground, where he finished fourth by five lengths. A little bit of a turn of foot late, but it wasn't anything spectacular. But something I've noticed about this race today, there's a shit ton of speed in it, to put it politely. A lot of speed, and there's not a lot of closers. If he could get a good trip from the back of the pack, I think he can win. You know, my thoughts with him today, he's either going to win or he's going to finish way out of it. Uh, but it, it is a massive step in, up in classrooms last ones. But like I said, a lot of speed, and I just think they're all going to fight on the front end. And uh, I think it's going to suit up for the square shooter. At 15 to 1, I'll take the chance. If he loses, he loses. But uh, I'm going to do a very nice. So uh, one place on him today, though. But to recap my selection for the tenth from Saratoga, it's the lucky coin. Let's take the seven horse square shooter. It will go seven three five one in the superfecta. So good luck to him. Please follow me on Twitter at horse racing kit five. Good luck.